Yo, 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 what is good? What is good, everybody? What's up? What is good? How's everybody doing? Y'all hear me? Y'all hear me? What is up? What is good? What is good? Yeah, I'm hoping to hear some flavor tonight too, man. What's good, Dr. Indy? King Versatile, I'm going to tell you how we can do this, okay? What's good, Bolo Congregation? It is Bishop Bolo. What's up, my good brothers and sisters? We are back again for another live beat review. I appreciate you guys coming on. Appreciate you guys, man. So, you know what I'm saying? We got a few people coming on. You know, I like to get started once we get around about 50, 60, 70 in here um, so we can make it fair for all the producers. Um, today, was a crazy day, like literally an hour hour and a half before the before the stream started got some uh, bad news man some bad news um nobody died and nothing like that but just got some bad news and but i gotta just put it in god's hands and uh and hope that everything is okay um but yeah if i feel it, if i looked a little annoyed or whatever like that today it's not because of y'all it's just that just the news i just got but i had to keep pressing on because i want to make sure that um Today, we still have a great day, a great review. You know what I'm saying? Let's just make sure that everything is great. So, um, so yeah. So, I just want to let y'all know that. You know what I'm saying? That's why if I might sound a little dry right now, it's because of that. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing because of y'all. I'm not tired or nothing like that. But, you know, sometimes you get some news that you just can't believe. And I'm still trying to process everything and get you down to the bottom of it. But we're all good today. We're all good. You know what I'm saying? God will make a way. He will make a way. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just pray for your boy. Pray for your boy. But, um, yeah, so we got a lot of great producers on this week. Uh, some new ones, some old ones, and I appreciate all the new people that signed up this week, man. I appreciate you guys so, so, so much. So we're going to have a great day today. Uh, for everybody who's asking to get on, we do a sign-up every Friday on my website at volodaproducer.com. And uh, uh, you go to the booking section, and you can book a slot. And um, I only activate the link one time. So the link is not active right now. I only activate it at 1 p.m. on Fridays. That's 1 p.m. Eastern. And you guys can go ahead and sign up and, you know, sign up and then put your beats on here. We usually have 15 beats. That's pretty much it. Or 15 contestants. Not contestants, but 15 producers. And you got two beats apiece. And you go ahead and get your beats like that. So bolodeproducer.com forward slash booking. And you can go ahead and book that. And also, I'm be doing one-on-one -on -one bookings. I'm actually going to activate that link so you guys can do one-on-one -on -one bookings with me. That way, we can do like a Zoom call, and we're going to do that. Um, I'm going to try to set a decent price point for you guys to get on the phone with. When I get on the phone, but get on the Zoom call with me. So if you got any questions or whatever, or if you just want to sit down and chat and just try to learn something about the game, I will be available for that. So, you know what I'm saying? Look out for that on my booking section, which I will put that in the community section. And y'all make sure to follow my community section. Um on my main page here on YouTube so that um, you guys can go ahead and see all the updates and see everything I got going on. And I'm trying to do the whole Discord thing too. Um, a lot of y'all saying doing Discord, but I just, I'm still a producer, so I don't really have a lot of time to like do Discord, do this, do that. I have a lot of stuff going on. So, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it's a, I still have life. I still have kids. I still have stuff going on. But at the end of the day, I try to do as much as I can for you guys so I can get on here, get online and do this every single week. All right. So, man, what's good? Who we got? Rick Works. K-Funk Conspiracy Beats. What's good? M. Keys. Dizzle on the beat. It's actually hot down here. I forgot to turn that AC on. It got hot today. It was cool in Atlanta, but it got hot today. I had to turn that. I just turned the AC on down here. Matter of fact, let me. Good thing I got the little Wi-Fi where I can turn it off on the phone. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, if you guys want to sign up, every Friday, 1 p.m., I will post it on my Instagram. I will post it. It'll be on my Facebook stories. And I will post it in the community section in here as well. And if you guys see people just asking to how they can get their beats on, try to add them and try to let them know, hey, this is how you can do it because I don't want to sit here and be you know, asking that question all the time. All right? So we got enough people on here right now. As you guys know, there's no hating, just constructive criticism. You can say you don't like the beat. That's cool. But it, please explain to the producer why and what needs to be done to that beat so you'll so they'll know what to do. And if these producers need help, 
y'all try to help them out as much as you can. You know what I'm saying? Try to help them out as much as you can. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, let's try to let's try to encourage producers to be better and let's try to make producers better. And I've already seen some producers already that's been on here that the first time wasn't too good. The second time they got better and by the third or fourth time it's starting to become a lot better and I see a lot of people collabing on here as well. Okay? And, uh, you know, once I get a beat and I push that thing over to the folder, you never know what I'm going to do with that beat once it gets over to the folder either. All right? So let's go ahead and get to it. We got enough people in the house right now. And please, if you guys can, if you guys want to donate, you can donate by hitting a little dollar sign down there. It doesn't matter if it's $1, $2, $3, $4, $5. Don't matter if it's yen. Don't matter if it's pesos. Don't matter if it's uh, uh, whatever. Whatever your currency is. If you want to go ahead and donate, please donate because that's what keeps the prices low for people to come on here. So if you if you guys do want to donate, if even if even all of y'all just put in a dollar, that would be good. You know what I'm saying? But you know, if you want to put in five or ten, that's cool. Or whatever the amount of the currency is over there, that'll be equivalent equivalent to that. That'll be cool. You can actually uh put some in the Cash App as well, or you can do, hit my PayPal account as well. And please let me know on here so I can shout you out if you do that. Cause I try to shout out everybody who uh who goes ahead and actually donates to the collection plate. Bishop Bolo. So let's go ahead and get to it. And we're going to go ahead and start with the first producer. The first producer that we have coming up first right now is Kamari WV. We got Kamari WV and First two beats, first beat is called Cold Case. Let's go ahead and get it. Yo, this is your first time on here, bro, and you sounding good. You are sounding good. All right, let's see the next one we got. It's called Some Sauce. <laughs> That's just it. From uh, Kamari WV, let's go. Ooh. Yes, sir. Leave the uh, leather jacket. I feel you. Oh, this is hard. This is hard. set the bar too good tonight man he set the bar too too good right now hold on yeah you already know what I'm doing with those two right there you already know what I'm doing we slide that over to the left he made it to the beats I like folder yes sir yes sir come on Kamari yeah 
All right, he's got his IG on there. Y'all make sure y'all link up with Kamari, man. That is hard. You and you and Leather Jacket Assassin need to get up. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, for real, for real. Y'all, 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 y'all will do it. All right, man, Kamari, let everybody know where you at. All right, that was Kamari WV, man. Appreciate that. Next person we got is Germ on it. Germ, what's good, man? First beat. First beat called. What we got? Mindless. Let's go ahead and get it. Hey. Okay. Y'all boys coming to the Come on, man. Germ. Germ. What's up, man? Let, let everybody know your IG, man. Put that ad, put that ad symbol down there, man. First, next beat by Germ called Ran With It. Let's go. Germ on it. Ooh, they're not playing tonight. Stay within the time restraints. You know what I'm saying? We gotta stay within that. Germ. Come on, man. I'm finna say those two. I'm finna say those. Come on. Slide those over to the left. Boom. Germ, leave your at so we can know, find you on IG and all that good stuff. So I can have it on the playback so everybody can get at you. And yes, please, y'all go ahead and hit that like button, man. We got 104 people in here. We only got 36 likes. Come on, hit that like button, man. And we don't have nobody donating right now. Come on, man. I might have to go up on the prices next week. I might have to go up on those prices next week. <laughs> Come on, man. Y'all can spot me. Y'all can spot me a bill. Spot me a dollar. <laughs> it's all good, man. Nah, nah. But for real, though, if y'all do want to donate, it's cool. If not, it is all good, man. Trust me. It is all good. You know what I'm saying? We are starting off very, very, very good tonight. Very good tonight. Let's see what we got. Who do we got next? Who do we have next? We have KP Hit him. KP Hit him up next. All right. First beat called Trenches. Let's go ahead and get it. Let's go.
quick. That was quick. All right. What we got next? What we got next, KP? What we got next? That was KP's first beat. This is KP's second beat right here called Shining. Let's get it. Okay, it's a little different. Okay. Okay. What we got? Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. Okay. Caught me off guard for a little second. Ooh. goodness thank you for that bro kp thank you for that actually hey not bad today brother kp you know what i'm gonna keep those right there man i got you kp leave your at symbol man leave your at signs so people can find you on ig kp hit them kp hit them appreciate you my guy thank you so much man thank you for that not bad the second one kind of threw me a little bit for a loop but it's, it sounded pretty good i think the first beat you just need to turn up that clap a little bit in there you, you need to match the energy with everything else but um, sounds pretty cool. Sounds pretty cool. Good job. Slide that over. And appreciate Leather Jacket Assassin for the donation. And appreciate you, John Michael. Thank you so much. <laughs> He's talking about y'all cheat. <laughs> I ain't say it. John said it. <laughs> but I appreciate you, John. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you so much, man. Thank you. All right, who do we got next? We have Von is me. That's how I say it. I, I, I keep saying it wrong. I keep saying it wrong. Von is me. First beat called Stop Playing. Let's go. It's a, it seems like it's a little redundant. I wish I'd have had a, a few more little breaks or whatever. <clears throat> but it sounds cool. It sounds cool. All right. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, we got a few more people doing it. Uh, oh, man. I I don't know how to say this. Y'all know I'll be butchering names. Aeonian Veritas. Thank you for the $25 donation. Thank you so much for that. Thank you for that. Oh my goodness, I just butchered his name. Thank you, Jay Cleveland Green the Second. Thank you, thank you so much for that donation. And Paul Smith, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that donation. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate you guys. Oh, Mobile Music Pro, thank you so much, man. And I will be seeing you this Friday, okay? Mobile Music Pro, if y'all don't know who he is, Mobile Music Pro is the number one spot you can go to to learn about all of the mobile stuff that's going on anything dealing with the ipad stuff like that he is the one to go to so please sign up to his channel he has great 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 advice great stuff on there just an awesome guy and i'm gonna uh be uh you know on one of his future uh, uh podcasts one of his future videos 
So y'all look out for that. Me and Henny the Business, I believe. And uh, yeah, make sure you go to his site. Make sure you go to his site and make sure you guys follow him because he has so much stuff. If you guys are working on iPads or if you want to start doing mobile music like me, I work on Beatmaker 3 and a few other things. If you need to know what to use, he is the one. He knows everything that's coming out first. He's the one that is like the heartbeat of the whole mobile music game. So y'all go ahead and go onto his page, you know, after the beat review. <laughs> y'all go on there after the beat review. Thank you, John Michael. Thank you so much. Oh, name is it, John. <laughs> oh, oh, so <laughs> his name isn't John, but you know who this is. Man, oh man, we got somebody that's very important in here right now. They're going under a the pseudo name. They're not in. They're not going to say who it is, but they're just in here right now. Okay. Okay, John Michael. <laughs> yes, and please hit up that, uh, please go ahead and hit up that like button. We have a lot of people in, hit up that like button. Hit up that like button. We have somebody important in here right now and they're not saying who it is. You know what I'm saying? We got, we got somebody very important. They're not gonna say who it is because I know y'all will be all over them, but y'all go ahead and hit up that, smash that like button right now. Let's get some more people in here. All right, who we got? Okay, so the next beat we have by Bond is Me called Sinner's Gospel. Let's go ahead and get it. Okay. play it longer but y'all boys are coming through with these samples tonight the only thing i think is the bass line might be a little bit off from the sample so you might have to either you might have to tune that bass a little bit more i think it might be a little it might be pitched a little too high but you might have to go to the to the little sense of it and kind of pull that down a little bit just get that bass line just to hit a little bit better but other than that i like it that is Von is me, y'all. Von is me. Leave like a like an IG page or whatever they can find you, where they can find your beats or whatever. Leave that on here so people can find you, man. That is Von is me. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate both of the beats. Thank you so much, man, for coming. And I would love to see you back on again, man. Thank you. All right, who do we have? Oh, we got my guy. It's late. It's late over there in the UK. But we got ADB Productions all the way from across the pond. Man, appreciate you coming on here, man. What is good, ADB? What do we got going on? Oh, I tried to pull up that session too, but I don't have the same sounds. So that's the only issue. So, um, but I kind of see what you're using a little bit. I see you got some ozone stuff. I think it's ozone, whatever you have on there. But I pulled it up, but I don't have some of the same sounds. But we're going to try to work it out somehow. We're going to try to work it out. But first beat by ADB Production. It is called Census Chill Vibe. Let's go. ADB Production.
Yeah. Now we sounding cleaner now. It's clean, it's a very clean beat. Very effective. Not bad, not bad, ADB. I wish it could be a, just a little bit more to it, but it's it's very much effective. I, I could definitely deal with that. And it's sounding better. Now the beats are sounding a little more open now. I like how that sounds right there. You've been working on you've been working on mastering those beats a little bit, huh? Mixing them things. All right, here we go. Next beat is called Size Chill. Let's go ahead and get it. ADB Productions. Let's get it. <laughs> sounding like that there we go you've been working on you've been working on those mixes man let me go ahead and slide those over i actually like that i actually like those a lot i actually like those those are them beats that when you play those in like a really 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 big studio they sound really good like those big studios they sound really big because there's not a lot of stuff clogging the drums and everything up so that's good adb that was adb productions you guys y'all need to get up with him man he got a lot of dope stuff ADB, leave like a link where they can find you on like IG and all that stuff. We got brother A.O. Sean in the building. He's about to cook up. I know he's about to cook up some flames. Lambo, thank you. Thank you so much for that donation. Thank you so much. Thank you. But yeah, that thing went in that folder, Jason. You already know what time it is. It went in that folder. Who we got next? We got brother J. Marvelous. First beat called Cardi Beast. Let's go. saying it is hard right now yes that is hard that's good i love i love people who 
take chances. Because it's hard for producers right now to take chances. That's what I was getting to. It's hard for producers to take chances, and I like that right there. I like that. And it's clean. The mix is very clean, man. Dang, Jay Marvelous, come on. Uh-oh, next beat. <laughs> Four loco Rick Ross type of beat. Let's go ahead and get it. Let's go, Jay Marvelous. <laughs> mixes bro you know what i'm saying i like that that's like that's dope the mix is dope i think the beat is a little dated but the mix is crazy i'm like you know between you ao sean and ducky DeBito, and you know it's a few other people and they got some pretty nice stuff on here man i like that thank you jay jay marvelous once again jay let everybody know your ig or whatever that so they can find you and y'all link up man y'all need y'all might need to get some beat mixes from jay marvelous man come on now yeah. All right, who we got next? We got brother Paul Smith. He has another guitar beat. Paul Smith, man. And uh Paul, make sure you leave like your uh, IG. You got your you got your Gmail stuff on here. Leave your IG or whatever they can find you or they, wherever you have your beats at. Hopefully the little thing won't cut it down or whatever. I'll see if I can find it. But he has another guitar beat, man. And thank you, man. Thank you, Paul, for submitting, man. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. can find you man i don't want to put your gmail out man it might be a whole bunch of people hitting up your gmail like that but put like an ig or whatever you got man so people can find you that was paul smith you guys thank you so much paul for that thank you so much for that man i'm actually gonna keep that one right there. i actually like that one i'm gonna slide you over to the left come on man that's what i'm talking about yes yeah, sir who do we got next who do we have next is it the one person that I can always count on during every beat review that is going to turn this beat review upside down? That is going to give us something that we all need in our lives? Y'all know what time it is, y'all. Y'all know what time it is. Who y'all think it is? Who do y'all think it is? Why y'all saying who it is? I'm going to let y'all know. If you want to sign up, sign up so every Friday at 1 p.m. on my website. If you want to see the updates, make sure you look at my Instagram stories or you go to my YouTube community page where I make posts about this. I make posts and updates about this with the link and everything. So make sure you either go to my 
Instagram or my YouTube community page is go on my main page, hit the communities tab, and you can go in there and see it. Or what you can do is go to my website, go to my bookings page, and you can go ahead and sign up. The link is actually dead right now. It will not be up until 1 p.m. on Friday. Okay? So, y'all pretty much know what time it is. The funk has arrived. That's right. Lambo, the funk has arrived. K-Funk, Conspiracy Beats, first beat called Laid Back. Let's get it. You, this better be funky, K-Funk. give it up y'all give it up for k funk conspiracy he comes on here every week and supports this he always we always have a great time always has a great time man always always we need to get him with uh 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 g perico out there in la man we need to get him up with him i need to find a way to make that work y'all got to do a song together or something man g perico come on man we got to make this work we got to make this work we got to make this work. Now, I know he has a different beat coming up. I know he has a different type of beat coming up because usually he comes funky the first one, and the second one is a little bit different. You know what I'm saying? But we got we to gotta, we gotta see what the second one's about. All right, K-Funk, let me see what you got. Let me see what you got go, cooking up right now. It's called Loving You. Let's go. Now, this is what I now do know. know. He starts off like that. He's going to switch up. I guarantee he's going to switch up.
stepping in the shot. You all right. We got that good step of music, man. Oh, my goodness. Oh. And some of y'all be like, why y'all, why you play K-Funk stuff a little bit longer? Because K-Funk has been coming on here every single week. Every week. And y'all know, if you support me, I'll support you guys. So I'll play his beats a little longer because he comes on here every single week. And y'all pretty much know what time it is. Y'all even know by the intros, y'all know it's his time, man. Y'all know it's his time. He always supports, man. Come on, man. That's what I'm talking about right there. That's what I'm talking about. K-Funk Conspiracy Beats, man. K-Funk, if you got a website or something, man, come on, man. Let's, let's, let's let the people know. We got to find out where you at, man. Come on, man. Let us know. And thank you so much for like all the support, man. Thank you so much. K Funk Conspiracy Beats, y'all. All right, who we got next? Man, we got Lambo. Let's go. First beat called New Thing. Let's go. Okay. I would probably feel it more if it's a little bit louder and I think sometimes I think the beat is better just because it's louder you know what I'm saying but this it, it, it feels like yeah it does need a lead in it does need a lead I can say that does need a lead and it does have a little bit of a date to it but it's not a bad beat not at all not at all and for everybody who's sending me beats in my email I'm not playing them because the only beats I'm playing tonight are the people who signed up sign ups are every Friday at 1 p.m. on my website you go to boloproducer.com forward slash booking, or you can look for the link on either my IG. I post it on my IG stories and on my Facebook stories. And, excuse me, you will see in my community section, which all you guys need to first need to subscribe to my channel, go to my community section, and you will see all my updates for this, okay? That's what we'll do, all right? So if you send something to my email, it's just going to be deleted because I already have too much stuff in my email already, and I have to delete that stuff, okay? So do not send any beats right now, okay? All right, next beat that we got from Lambo. That's actually that was actually a pretty good. Beat. I'm gonna keep that one. It's called Think About It. Let's go ahead and get it, Lambo. Let's go. Yeah, that's 
not bad. They're not bad, but we need to go. Yeah, the, the beats are a little too low. And I'm going to tell you something. The trick to, to this whole thing is even if your beats are not that good, if they sound good and they turn up to a pretty decent volume, it's good. You can use limiters. But what I try to tell people is if you use limiters, try to go no more than negative 3 dB once it hits that limit mark. And then what I say is, the, and then when you limit it, don't let it just hit zero. Pull that limiter to back to about point zero three, so you won't have any digital clipping. Or just play the beat loud as hell. Like people, a lot of these rappers and stuff don't hear all that digital clipping. Like I hear some people saying about K-Funk beats, like it's clipping and all that stuff. If the beat sounds good, the beat sounds good. There's so many beats that get played. Like even my beats, I don't even use limiters on them. I just turn them up. I ain't gonna lie to you. If it sounds good, it sounds good. We don't have to get too technical until we get to the mix. But if it sounds good with all the digital sounds that are already digitally sounding good, you don't have to do so much stuff like I used to do, you know, back in the day. It would have been better if we had tape. It would sound a little bit warmer in a sense. But at the end of the day, if it sounds good, it just sounds good. Okay? If it sounds good, it sounds good. You know what I'm saying? So if you want to use, like you said, like Lambo, if you want to use Ozone, if you want to use Fab Filter, you want to use Waves, you can get the same sound. It's just some plugins work a little bit faster than others. But a lot of times I just turn it up, and you know what I'm saying? I get it to a decent, you know, I, I put on like a little limiter, like a like a LUFS type of a thing. The uh, the Fab Filter L2 has it in there already, and, you know, so you're good to go. Or you can do like C. Wiggs was saying and go ahead and get my Bolo drum kit. I'm telling you, my 2020 kit and the X-Factor kit, well, all of my kits, but this new little Midwest kit I'm coming up with with some Detroit sounds and stuff like that, it's going to be crazy. I've been making a few beats online, like putting them on my stories and stuff like that. I've been using that kit, and them, them drums are going to be crazy. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, crazy, all right? And, man, whatever happened to the T-Rex? People don't use T-Rex stuff no more, like the little soft clipper with T-Rex? That thing's to have my beats jamming back in the day. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yes. But that T-Rex, that little soft clipper they had back in the day, that thing was crazy. Yes. All right. That was Lambo. Thank you so much, and thank you so much for the donation as well today. And, man, let's get back on here, Lambo, and get these beats. And if you need some help, with turn them up, hit me up, or hit some people up on here, and we're going to get you right, man. That's what we're here for. All right. Okay. Who do we got next? Oh, we got She Bang Beats. She Bang. She Bang. S H E B A N G G dot com. I G. She Bang Beats. Y'all ready? She Bang about to bang. Let's go ahead and get it. First beat is called Personal. Let's go. to do them like that and from what i see in the comments that she used my bolo x-factor kit is that right we use we using the x-factor on this one for the 2020 which one we got oh my goodness y'all go y'all go to her site and get some beats i'm telling you y'all go to the site and get a kit and get my kids 
and get my kids. She used, I think she used my drum kit on this beat. Yes, yes. Come on, man. She bang beats, crazy. And for you guys who keep asking, if you want to sign up, you have to sign up either on my website, on the booking section, or you sign up watching my communities tab. Like, I'm going a, I'm to a put all the links and stuff on my communities tab, or you can go ahead and use my IG, and you will see that as well. So it's every Friday. Go to my website. Go to my bookings page, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 1 p.m. on my site, my bookings page, and you can sign up on the 15 slots. You get two beats. Two beats. You can play two beats. Oh, yeah, she did use my X-Factor kit. Thank you so much for that. Yeah, so if y'all want to get some, um, y'all here. If y'all know how to mix and everything, it, it, y you ain't got to do much with my X-Factor. I'm telling you. Who we got next, she bang? Called Penalty. Let's go. She bang beats. Let's get it. <laughs> Y'all want me to run it back, but can't do it because I got time restraints. So I got some stuff I got to handle tonight. But if you want to hear it back, if you want to hear it back, we are right at the 55 mark, a little around the 54, 55 mark or the, or the 50 minute mark. I'm going to put it on the replay and you guys can go back and listen to it. Sometimes Craftsman uh, Productions, Craftsman uh, will go ahead and make like a whole timeline and, and do all the stuff on here. Um, you can you can do like that, but man, that's crazy. Y'all make sure y'all go to her site, She Bang Beats, okay? www. She Bang Beats, just like how she spells it on here. Y'all go ahead and support her. Y'all get some leases or whatever. Pay for the beats, get them. But you know what I'm finna do with both of those beats? Cause I got them already. I got some other beats already. I'm gonna slide them things right on over. Bam. Hmm. What we got next? Oh, we got K Lac in the building. K Lac music. Let's go. Call first beat. Call in the field with it. Let's go.
but it just needs a little bit better mixing. What did you make this beat on? What did you make this beat on? Let me know. Okay, like, what did you make this beat on? Because that could be actually a cool beat. It just got to be mixed like it's the, the sounds are a little thin. What you, what you make it on? It's, I like it. You know what I'm saying? I like the beat. I actually like it, but it, it, it needs to be it needs to be just like the like stuff is thin on it. Man, listen, if y'all guys want to send loops, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? It's cool. But when you send the when you send the loops, try to do something different with the loops. Don't just keep the loops the same. Because a lot of good stuff with cymatics and everything, in which they send me some stuff as well. But chop up the loop, reverse the loop. Put something else on it. Don't just leave the loop the same way. Make Even if you get loops, make it personable to you, okay? If they're royalty-free, that's great because you don't got to worry about stuff, but make the loop personable to you. Make it make it your own. Don't just leave it somebody else and put some beats behind it. Make it your own loop. Okay, you did FL? Yeah, just, just, just use, you know what I'm saying? I'm not sure what sounds you use or whatever, but just leave the sounds alone. Don't do nothing to the sounds. Don't try to EQ it. Don't try to do nothing. Just gain stage the sounds and get them up hot enough. Don't even put a limber on it. Just leave it like that. Turn it up. FL Studio, y'all can turn that mess up. Even if it's clipping, it's still going to sound good, okay? Everybody's so, oh, it's digital clipping. I hear digital clipping. No artist cares about that when they're in the studio. I'm just telling you guys. No artist cares like, oh, my God, this beat is so dope, but I cannot use it because of digital clipping. They don't care. Once you get the session over and they... Mix engineer either sometimes makes it better or sometimes makes it worse. You know what I'm saying? Just gain staging. Yeah, gain stage the beats. That's it. Next beat by k -Lag Music. We got Joyful Noise. Let's go. k -Lag, k, -Lag, k, -Lag, k -Lag. Okay. Okay. See, when you add it in, that Rose piano is cool, but it was too much on that. Just that first part where it came in, dee, 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 that part right there is cool. But all the extra stuff, no, take that out. You know what I'm saying? Take that out. Just leave that part on there so you can use that kind of like a transitional part. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, that's cool. But yeah, game stage your beats. Don't worry about the clipping. Don't listen to all of these people. Listen, I'm telling you guys right now. If it sounds good, it sounds good. Do not let people talk you on how to doing your stuff, okay? Yes, your beats could be clipping. Yes, your beats could be sounding a little distorted. All that stuff like that. But if it sounds good, it sounds good, and just make the beat. A lot of y'all are being too technical to where you're not making the beats that you need to make. I used to be the same way. I used to be so technical that sometimes I wasn't finishing beats until a week later. Don't worry about that. Stop being so technical. Just make the beats okay make the be a beat maker first be a beat maker first then be the producer later on once you get the artist and everybody comes in and that's a nice segue to tell you guys that tomorrow 
Wednesday, I'm putting up another video. I'm going to be asking the question, are you a beat maker or are you a producer? And I want to hear your feedback because I, I broke down a little bit of definitions and everything in this one. And we're going to basically break down what is a beat maker, what is a producer, and are you a beat maker or producer? And I'm going to tell you guys right now, I'm both of them. Both of them. Not both of them, both of them. Because some days I'm a beat maker and some days I'm a producer. And be honest with you guys. Okay? So, y'all come on and watch the video tomorrow. And I'm going to hear you guys' feedback on it. I love the feedback. I love the way we're kind of doing this channel right now. And I just love you guys' support. Okay? And we're going to go ahead and discuss that tomorrow. I want to hear what you guys got to say. All right? So, that was, brother, K Lack Music. K Lack, let's go ahead and get to it, man. We're going to work on that. If you need some help, just hit me up. Hit me up in the DM. Okay, I got you. All right, who we Oh, we got produced by Tip. Let's get it. First beat called Fantasy. Let's get it. Damn, Tip, you be quick. Try to find me another look, another little kid artist, man. Yeah, yeah. What's this next one called? Dream of You, produced by Tip. Let's go. going into the folder. Bam. Whew. Who we got next? Tip. Thank you. Yep. Had to slide that to the left. Had to make that folder. Let's go. Who we got? We got M Keys in the building. 313 in the building. Let's go. First beat. Let's get it.
Come on, man. What is going on? That's actually kind of hard. What we got next? What we got next? Come on, M. Keys. those things over come on yes sir bam stop playing with the kid who do we got next man M keys crazy let everybody know they can find you bro I like those yes nah no AO shining oh they asking about AO shining fat boy tonight uh oh uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> they asked about A.O. Sean and Fat Boy tonight. I ain't said it. They asking for it. They asking for it. They said, where is A.O. Sean and Fat Boy tonight? That's what they asking for, man. <laughs> Ooh, -woo. hey yo, Sean, what are they talking about, man? Hold on, let me check my email real quick. And make sure I got. I, I don't want to be missing everybody. Hold on. Why am I not seeing this one? Uh, hold on. I am missing. A beat in here. Missing a beat. Hold on. Hold on, you guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I am missing a beat. Hold on. This is kind of crazy. Where's that? Ah, man. I am actually missing the beat right now, and I don't know where I put it at. All right, so let's go ahead and go to Brother. There we go. There it is. Here we go. 2020 Vision. Thank you for sending this beat over. Thank you. Thank you, 2020. Let's go ahead and get it. First beat. Uh, the, oh, the beat. It's called Like That. Let's go ahead and get it. Yeah. 
peace of mind. Y'all, come on now. This thing is actually a, a pretty dope vibe. Like, uh, actually, a lot of artists wouldn't even notice that the beat, that the 808 is not even key. It's, it's a little bit off, but it's, it's not bad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, oh, yeah, I see we talking about the Iron Fist cook-up and Leather, Le uh, Leather Jacket Assassin actually talking to somebody about that right now. And they asked about the Iron Fist cook-up. And, yes, um, it's going to be a few producers that's on here that I'll be seeing next week at the Iron Fist cook-up. Um, and the Iron Fist cook-up is basically something uh, that DJ Hadouken does here in Atlanta at the legendary Outcast studio over at Stank On Ya. Um, it was in the main A room, but now they're moving it to the uh, bigger area, to, like, the club area in there. Um, and basically you have judges so you get to play your beats you have a time limit to play your beats and you get to play them in front of a panel of producers and judges and it's not really judges they just kind of just give you feedback on it and it's a whole bunch of really good guys in there man and, and it's, it's a great vibe so if you have not done Iron Fist Cook Up please go ahead and sign up for it it is a great experience to not only be at one of the iconic studios and but to be around a lot of great industry guys and a lot of great producers to where you never know. You might leave there that night, and there's so many studios and so many places, you might leave there that night and end up in somebody's studio. You might end up there leaving, end up in the studio with me. You never know. But I will be there next week. I will be there next Tuesday evening um, for the Iron Fist cook-up. And it's going to be pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? So Leather Jacket Assassin, he'll tell you. Um, it's a lot of networking that goes. Yes, it's a lot of networking that goes on there. And me... I kind of just pop in. Like, I just, if I can make it, I try to make it. So I try to just pop in. I'm there in just regular street clothes. I'm not all juried up and everything. It's just, I'm just there just like everybody else. And I just kind of just hang out. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, just like everybody else. That's how it is. And the good thing about it is, it's right there in downtown Atlanta. So, you know, by the time the thing gets done, right around the corner, the strip club is right around the corner, too. And, you know, it's a lot of stuff that goes on <laughs> in downtown Atlanta. So it's, it will be on a Tuesday. One thing about Atlanta is something always going on every single night. So as long as you're in the downtown area, you can run into a bar, a club, or anything. And then right there, right next to Stank On You, is actually another huge studio um, that they do a lot of recording in. Then they have another studio called Upstairs. And then around the corner, there's another huge studio around the corner. And then on the back end back there, they have a whole bunch of studios where a lot of big producers had their studios at. So, and then future studio and all that stuff is down the street. So it's, it's a great area to be in. You're right there by Atlantic station. Um, you're in, it's basically kind of like a little off North side drive midtown. So when we get done, there's a lot of stuff to do. Okay. So it's actually a pretty good thing to, to, to get in, uh, to get involved in. So, um, yeah, there'll be some artists there. I'll be there. You can chop it up. You can flick it up, take some pictures or whatever, and then you never know how I'm feeling. I might, you know, see what's going on. We might go to the studio. We might do something before that. So y'all just let me know if y'all in town, and if, if we can try to get some. If enough people come to town, we can all come to my spot before, and then we can, you know, kind of link up, or maybe that day or the day after we'll see, we'll see what goes on. But definitely check out the Iron Fist cook-up. Definitely check out the Iron Fist cook-up. And Leather, Leather Jacket Assassin, man, you are really, yes, she banged. That, he is really out here moving for real. He is moving. He's been driving back and forth from uh, West Virginia, back and forth to Atlanta. He's been going to different shows, meeting up with people. He is getting out, and he's doing what it's, you're supposed to do. You got to beat your feet on that concrete. You got to beat your feet on that concrete. Now, let me see here. It's a lot of people on here, right? And, man, not that many people have donated, which is cool. It's, it's all good. But not that many likes either. You know what I'm saying? Come on, y'all. Y'all go ahead, hit that like button, hit that special like button. And please, if you can, donate. I don't care if you donate a dollar, man. Y'all just go ahead and donate a dollar or something like that so we can go ahead and keep these rates real low. You know what I'm saying? Let's try to do that so we can keep these rates real low. And uh, and we can keep doing this every single week. So y'all just keep supporting the channel, man, if you can. And let's go ahead and keep this right. Okay? So who do we got next? Who do we got next? That's actually a nice little bit. I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to keep that beat from 2020. Yes, sir. Let me slide that thing over. Let me slide that thing over. Hold on. What's going on? What's going on? Yeah. Bam. We got no talent beats. Come on, man. No talent beats. Let's go ahead. Meat sauce. Let's get it right now. Let's go. Thank you. 
particular for making sure beats are in key. And I understand that sounds like a loop or some type of sample, but that thing is out of key. We cannot have that. Okay, everything was cool. It was an okay beat, it was kind of simple, needed a few things going on, but we need to make sure that, because right there, your beat will get cut off in any place, not just here, okay? So let's be mindful if we're using loops, if we're using samples, if we're adding in certain sounds off the keyboard or whatever we're using, make sure that everything is in key, okay? Make sure that everything is in key, okay? That is a big, big, big no-no, okay? Let's make sure that everything is in key, all right? Yeah, because everything was smooth. Everything was cool until that happened. You know what I'm saying? And it's not just me. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a few people on here saying the same thing. Come on, No Talent. I know you got I know you got something better than that because, man, first time you came on here, you you, you you blew it up. You know what I'm saying? Like, good. You, you did a great job. But let's let's go ahead and, and make sure that we don't, you know what I'm saying, we don't have that stuff, you know what I'm saying, out of key, man, because I, I know you're better than that. Come on, No Talent. Let's see what the next beat you got, man. Next beat we call Bruce Wayne by No Talent. Let's go. No Talent Beats. be a little better on that like like this this melody is actually very good but the the drums a little bit simple but the melody is dope drums on that one just needs better drums and if you don't have it go ahead and get my x-factor drum kits you know what i'm saying no talent but i know i know you got that sauce no talent i already know that some of these people don't know they think that you're trolling because your name but he's actually a real producer called no talent beats and he does have some dope stuff i know he has it come on no talent you know i know you got it bro come on yes Yes, yes, yes. But right now, yes, it is too late to send beats over. It's too late to send beats over. It's already full. We're done. We do 15 producers every single week. This week, somehow, I had a glitch. We had 16, but one of the producers couldn't make it tonight. Um, also, shout out to Vaughn Is Me. Thank you so much for that donation, man. Thank you so much. And thank you, Rick Works. Thank you so much for your donation. Thank you so, so, so much for you guys' donation. Thank you guys so much, man. I really appreciate appreciate you guys. Man, we had a night tonight. We had a very, very, very good night tonight. Who do you guys think? Who do you guys think made you know some of the best beats tonight? Who do you, like them first three was like really good. She banged did her thing tonight. Like just just think of the stuff that just pops out of my head because all you guys did a, a decent job tonight. Like for real. Like this is one of the better ones. I I really enjoyed this one tonight. Even though my night started off a little funky. It still is a little funky, but, you know, guys got me. You know what I'm saying? But tonight was a very good night. Thank you guys for y'all donating. If anybody else wants to donate, that will be great. <laughs> that would that'll be very great. If you guys want to donate, it's cool. If not, it is all good. We got next week because I know you guys got bills. I know you guys got stuff to do. And I know just some of you guys just ain't got it. I've been in that position before, and I completely understand and I thank you guys for what you did. Thank you, KP, for donating as well on my Cash App. Thank you so much for that. And uh, thank you, everybody, for, for donating on the PayPal as well. And I just thank you guys for rocking with me, man. It, you know what I'm saying? I just thank you guys for just continuing to rock with me. 
and continuing to to keep me uplifted by doing this, man. And this is something that is very dope. We actually had somebody on here that was very popular, but he was using a a fake uh, like YouTube page name or whatever like that. So he wanted everybody to know he was. It came on, and uh, you know, it's a few people that do that on the regular. So it's it's a lot of people that come on here, and uh, they actually show a lot of love. You know what I'm saying? They show a lot of love. Oh, thank you, Mike Drummond. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. And, uh, man, hey, thank you. Thank you with the beats. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for, you know, signing up. You know, hopefully sign up in the future. Thank you guys for liking all all the people who like the uh, like the video tonight. We got a lot, a lot, a lot of people, a lot of viewership up this week. And I just really appreciate you guys. And, y'all, make sure tomorrow I got a video. It's going to be a little controversial again. It's going to be talking about are you a beat maker or a producer? And i am be honest with you guys, I'm both of them. Both of them. Not both of them, but both of them. So we're going to talk about that. Going to go through some definitions out the Webster's Dictionary of what's a producer and stuff like that and what I believe a producer is. And it's going to be a short video, probably like eight, nine minutes or whatever. So just watch the whole thing. And uh, shout out to... Um, shout out to DistroVid as well. DistroVid is the same thing as DistroKid, but they actually push out your music videos the same way as DistroKid. That way you'll be able to upload your music videos to all the major streaming uh, platforms, Tidal, Apple Music, Amazon Music, um, and you also get a own your own Vivo account. So now your videos will show up with the Vivo sign and everything on there. It is super dope. It starts off at $99 a year. For one artist, if you want to have another artist, it'll just be an extra $49, and that is for the whole year. So you get to release as many videos as you want, starting off with $99, and if you want to add another separate artist, it'll be another $49, and for like $150, you can have two artists, and you can just go ahead and release as many videos out the year. So y'all go ahead and check that out. Shout out to Native Instruments for all the stuff that they're doing, and just shout out to everybody who is making beats. And uh, y'all know, use that this time, I kind of give y'all a little word. And I'm going to say this, when it comes to production and in life in general, just make sure you stay on course of what you want to do. Don't let anybody throw you off your rocker. Don't let anybody tell you what you cannot do, okay? Don't, buy, don't let anybody tell you you shouldn't mix this way, you shouldn't do this, you, you shouldn't do that, because everything is subjective. Music is subjective, okay? Do what you want to do, do what makes you happy, and be as subjective as possible when it comes to music. Try new things, explore. Don't be scared to do certain things. If you're scared to do this, you're not in the right field. You have to take different ways of getting to where you need to go. And one person's path is totally different from another person's path. So walk in your own steps in this music game and beat to your own drum. Now, it doesn't mean don't work with other people, work with other people, but add your sauce to it. Like I was saying, if you guys are loop guys, if you might get loops or whatever, take those loops Add your own thing to it. Make that thing yours. Make it personal and make it somewhat dope, okay? If you guys are the type that are good on drums, switch up drums. Do certain things. Even if you get my drum kits, use different drums. Use different basses. Switch certain things up and create your own lane because the new lane is at some point is going to be the mainstream lane, okay? So just remember that. Walk in your steps. Walk in your faith, okay, when it comes to believing in yourself, and just remember that you could be the next person that starts the next wave. All right, I appreciate you guys for coming on. Thank you. Sign up is on Friday, 1 p.m. Eastern. I think next week will be next Wednesday or possibly next Thursday. So I'll let you guys know. And then uh, we're going to have another great time, man. So I appreciate you guys. If you don't have my drum kits, go ahead and get them. And uh, I will be doing the one-on-one -on -one courses. I will be setting those up starting next week. So if you guys want to get on the Zoom call with me, of course, you got to put a little bit of money down. But you guys can get on the Zoom call, and that way you guys can talk to me face-to-face. -face. All right, so I appreciate you guys so much. Love you guys, man. And just I thank you guys so much for supporting me, man. And I'll see you guys later. And if you want to watch this uh, uh, again, this will be on replay. So you guys can watch this again. I'm about to do it right now. All right, thank you guys so much. Love you guys, and like I always say, peace out, and check out the video tomorrow.